the Alps in the Swiss Canton Valais, there are plants that occur naturally both on the valley floor and above the forest line in the Alpine zone. Among these are the Stone Carnation and the Carthusian Carnation. The environmental conditions differ markedly between the valley floor and the Alpine zone, for example in temperature, precipitation and length of the vegetation period. Plants that occur at different altitudes, like the carnations, are particularly suitable to study adaptation to different environmental conditions. Since autumn 2015, the Plant Ecological Genetics Group at ETH Zurich has been investigating how carnations grow, survive and reproduce at high and low altitude. Their aim is to test whether the plants are adapted to the environmental conditions under which they grow naturally and which genes are responsible for this. Four experimental plots were set up, two at low and two at high altitude. Hundreds of young plants from six different populations per species from the region of Valais were transplanted to each plot. Since then, all plants were checked every week during the vegetation period to score flowering, survival and reproduction. Phenotypic traits such as flower organs were also measured and the number of seeds recorded to estimate the fitness of each plant. After several years of investigation, we found evidence that plants are adapted to their local conditions. For example, plants at high altitude flower earlier than those at lower altitude in response to the different vegetation periods. At high altitude, plants flower faster after snowmelt so that seeds can ripen before the following winter. In contrast, plants at low altitude adopt alternative strategies to maximize reproduction before the summer drought. This and other adaptive traits help these plants maximize fitness in their native environments. In parallel to the field studies, the genomes of these plants were sequenced to identify the genes underlying the process of adaptation. The genomic analyses reveal which part of the genome are particularly affected by selection. One of the discovered genes controls when the plants flower. The genome analyses thus confirm the observations made in the field experiment. The researchers are now conducting laboratory experiments to dissect the molecular mechanisms underlying the observed plant responses to environmental differences. This is important to understand how changes in the environment, for example as a result of a warming climate, will affect the survival of these plants. In the future, the researchers will investigate how well plants can cope with rising temperatures in the summer and decreasing snow cover during winter and which genes can contribute to adaptation to future climatic conditions.